Hello guys, Mike here from Icy Sheets. In this one I will show you how to get a thousand gamer score for the game Inside. The game takes around 2 hours to finish and has 14 achievements, each one representing a secret. There is no achievement for actually finishing the game and the last achievement can only be unlocked by getting the other 13. After it, there are still 15 to 20 minutes of playtime, but they are worth it. We're gonna do a full playthrough talking about every puzzle and fast forward easy parts so we can make the guide as short as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are ready let's dive in. Start the game and walk to the right. Learn how to jump over the log, over the fence and continue. When you reach the masked guys, hide and stay hidden until the flashlight is out of range. Push the fridge, pressing the action button B or X and use it to jump over the fence. After you jump down here, drag the box to help cross in the next part. As you travel through the water, a dog will start to chase you. Continue to the right and jump just at the edge to grab on the tree roots. Pull yourself up with the analog stick. Jump down and go left to hide from the car. Do not stop here, but be careful to jump over the log, otherwise you will be caught. Now hide until the car lights are out of sight. The masked guy that is still chasing you will give you some space. Log number 2. And log number 3. Dogs will come chase you and you will just jump at the edge of the cliff. Grab a breath of air and swim to the left. As you get to the end of the lake, dive underwater. If you have dived from the beginning, you would have run out of air. Action button and move right to push down the log. Action button and pull to the left for your first secret with the murky waters achievement. Go back in the lake and to the surface. Dive down to hide from the masked guys and continue to swim at the surface and walk on the ground. Jump over the fence and in the cornfield when you start to see your character clearly aka not so much through the vegetation, press the action button and joystick up to open the trap door. Go down and to the left to find the second secret. Action button and joystick right and the field research achievement will pop. Back up and right. Climb the rope and jump into the building. Left, action button and joystick up to open the door and let the chickens in the barn. Move right and pull the motor handle three times. As you can see, the chicks follow you. Move right some more and then go to the left and pull the lever. Some chicks will get sucked into the machine and will lock down the box. Don't worry, they won't die. Push the box, climb up the ladder and jump into the pig cart. Push the pig cart to the left, climb in it, pull a plank and get in. Climb the rope, balance left and right a little bit and jump left. Third secret with a wee 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 achievement. Go back to the pig cart and drag it to the right 
can climb. Move through the dirt and climb the fence. As the pig starts to chase you, jump over him. Do this a couple of times and when you are close enough to the door, the pig will break it. Do this inside as well and he will knock himself out. Pull the worm out of his butt and drag him in the middle of the room. Jump to connect your mind to the mind control device and now you can control the mindless people. Walk to the right and one will fall down. Press the action button to keep the two mindless on the left in place. Walk left so the other two can join. Analog stick up to open the door. Walk to the right again with all four. Action button and analog stick left to knock down the structure. Jump to disconnect and continue right. Action button and joystick up for the door. Here, drag the cart to the right and climb the chain. Open the window, action button and joystick up. Climb the ladder, drag the planks towards you and push the lever up. Climb the ladder again and use the planks to cross, jump right at the end of the platform. Push the vault down, but be careful to go back immediately so you won't fall and die. Jump down. And through the hole the vault left, pull the shaft door and find the fourth secret and unlock the fourth achievement left behind. Go to the right. Pull the lever, jump and connect to the mind control device. Walk left until both mindless are in the outside room. Jump down and pull again the lever to close the door. Mind control device again and move right. And when the mindless guys are furthest apart, move right. When they sit on both pressure plates, the door will open. Jump down and continue right. Climb the ladder. And here, make sure to jump before the roof runs out and drag the analog stick to the right. Go down slowly and then joystick left and jump again. Climb all the way down to find the fifth secret with the Obscure Foundations achievement. Climb, jump on the pipe and reach the roof. Climb the fence. By the way, this is supposed to happen. Down the pipe again. Pull three planks. Push the ladder and climb. Move right and open the door. Then go back and pull the lever down. Make sure you don't end up in the light, otherwise the robots will shoot an electrical wire at you and you will die. Then push the button in the elevator and continue. You will fall down here. Make sure to walk only when the others walk. The flying robot is watching you. When you get in the rectangular shape, jump when the others jump. And when you get in the second rectangular shape, turn 180 and 180 again when the others do that.
When you pass the chalkboard, don't stop and jump through the glass. Wait for the dog, climb up and run to the right. If you don't wait, he will catch you. Connect to the mind control device, get the card with the mindless and walk right. Jump down on the platform, push the box on the pressure plate and go back to the device. Get the cart again with the mindless and walk right. Jump to the second control device with the mindless. Push the cart to the middle of the room with the second mindless at the point where you are safe to land. Jump up with the mindless on the pressure plate and disconnect. Connect to the first mind controller device again. Get the cart with the first mindless and walk right again. Stop at the edge of the big door and pull the lever with the mindless. Fall down when the door is 100% opened. Grab air and dive underwater to pull the red lever. Drag the wooden platform and use it to climb. Climb some more and push this button. The water level will decrease. Push the outside button and the water level will rise. Dive and push the button again and swim to the right. This is the only way to get up here with the door opened. Through the door, get the luggage and put it under the chain. Push the button again and get on the luggage to reach the chain. Climb on and go right. Make sure you don't step into the light. The pipe will keep shadow. Rotate the lever little by little. You cannot do it in one go. I did it in three. Then, when the cage is low enough, jump and jump across. The same thing with the second light. Open the door and fall down. Fall down again and down the chain. Move right. And jump into the water. Swim right and get out of the water. Wait for the dog and jump back in. Swim left. Dive and avoid the dog swimming underwater. If you don't do this, you won't have time to avoid the dog. Jump down and climb the fence. Stay on the right side of the fence and when all three dogs touch the fence, jump, go right and pull one plank. Jump over the fence, wait a little bit for the dogs and climb back. Stay on the other side once again until all three dogs touch the fence. Jump and pull another plank. Then do this one more time. To finally cross. Down the ladder. And wait in the dark. When the coast is clear, move right and jump down. Enter the submarine and dive down. Move right through the door. Move an inch up and then reorienting the joystick towards the planks, pressing the jump button. Release the button after a while to dash with the submarine. Move right and down and dash again through the cracks in the wall. Down right and dash in the wall to expand the crack. Get out of the submarine to swim through the crack. Swim right, jump on the lockers so you can reach the rope and then climb. Go right, press the button and run left. Do not jump, just let yourself fall into the water. Go right, 
up the rope again and right again. Pull the lever on top of the box. This will push the box in the air. Jump left on the wooden plank. Jump on the rope and jump again. Push the button, jump in the water, through the crack and get your submarine back. Jump over using dash diagonally and continue right. Dash, go down and dash into the box. Down some more, left and up. Get out of the submarine, climb the ladder and connect to the mind control device. Put the mindless guy on top of the submarine. Bring him underneath the second mind control device and dash up so he is hooked to the second mind control device. You have to be pretty accurate. Go back to the first mind control device and connect. Control the second mindless to get the secret. The friends in low places achievement will pop. Go back in the submarine, go right, up, and dash right. Leave your submarine right of the pipe, get out and swim left. Dive, press the button and back to the submarine. Dash diagonally to jump over. Continue right and dash through this door. You will now get chased by the water creature. When you put the light on her, she will run away. Do that and little by little advance. Go through the door and don't let her in. Then dash into the door to close it and block her there. Next dash two times in the planks and go left. You can use the dash feature to travel as well. Here, dash two times in the pipes. Climb. And reach the seventh secret with the a tableau achievement. Back in the submarine and drive right. Get out of the submarine and start walking. Open the door by pushing it. Fall down and continue right. Pull the lever down to turn on the electricity. In this spot you need to put 20 bodies to pass. Turn back and then use the elevator. Go right and rotate the lever to climb down. Pass the mindless and jump in the water. Get some air midway and continue to swim. Climb, jump on the rope, swing two times and jump on the second one. Same thing on the second one. Jump and get the mind control device. Fall and they will catch you and start to follow you. They will also help you climb on things like here. Analog stick up, jump and climb the ladder. Rotate the lever to get them. Pass the elevator and drag the cart under the trap door. Use them to climb the rope and jump through the door on the cart. They will push the cart. Continue left. 
climb and lift some more. Move the first box and pull the second one's lever. As the second one goes up, push the first one underneath the first. Lever again and in the air, jump to free the mindless. Go right. And after you jump down, pull the planks with the mindless's help and go into the cave. Climb down the ladder. And get the torch. The dogs will come at you, but as long as you face them, you will use the torch to drive them away. So turn towards the ones closer to you. Reach the 8th secret, pull the thingy, and the pack mentality achievement will pop. Go back outside. Get your mindless. Jump down to get the other ones. And use the elevator with all of them. Use the elevator again. And go right. Use the mindless to throw you. And then go right to get another one. You will drag him and throw him down. Near the spot where there has to be 20 bodies. Back to the group. Pass the elevator. Push the cage and go back to the elevator. Use it to go down and go left. Get the mindless. Open the door and get another one. Continue left and use them to throw you. And then pull the lever. When the cart is around the halfway, let the lever go. If you get it right, it will balance at the right time and the cart will cross. Jump and go right. Now get everyone on the platform. You will have to drag the last one. It's the one you threw from the top floor. In this section, you have to time yourself. The pulses will simply kill you, so you have to take cover when they hit. First, push the box three quarters outside and move a little to the left. Run after the pulse hits and destroys the box and hide when the pulse hits again. Continue and pull the lever here to get cover and before you continue, pull the lever back to have cover at the next pulse. Of course, you can also do this slowly. Next, you have to use the moving wall as cover. Pull the lever to make it stop close to the bottom and after the pulse, let the lever go. Try to take cover as you climb the ladder. Wait for the moving wall again. You will have to get cover when you reach the other platform. Here, pull the box's lever before the pulse and take cover. After the pulse, go back on the box and jump. Pull this lever. Use the door to cover yourself. Wait for the pulse here at the edge of the platform and then cross after it hits. Next, jump when the arm is 90 degrees to the right, hide behind it and then jump right before the pulse. Listen to the suction sound right before it. You have to jump like this because you will be wide open in the second part of the slide. Continue right, jump down and use the elevator.
bottom right to open the door and swim up. Pull the box's lever and jump when the box is in the air to grab the rope and then jump again. Pull this lever and my advice is to pull it standing on the right side of it and keep it pulled until the door is fully opened. Then jump on the rope and through the door. Continue right, down some stairs, dive into the water and climb the ladder. Pull the right box's lever, then the left ones and then go on the right box. Jump right and push the button so the platform catches the left box. Right box's lever and jump on the left box. Left box's lever and jump right when the box is the highest. Dive into the water and swim. We will be chased by the creature. Don't stop and climb the rope. Swing a couple of times and jump back into the water. Climb the second rope, the ladder, jump in the water and swim through the door. Walk on the platform, jump in the water and swim again. Go up the chain and push the button and dip your feet into the water to bait her at the far left point. This way she won't have time to catch you when you jump back in the water. Push the button as you pass by it. Hopefully you will get past the closing door and the creature not. Swim up. Climb the ladder. Jump. Jump and catch the rope. Swing and jump. and open the door by pushing it. In the water, the creature will chase you once again. Get out. Open the door and stay in the water. When she comes, get out and go left. Jump into the water, swim, and get the ninth secret with the respite achievement. Push the door to go outside, swim, climb the rope, jump, catch the rope, jump again and continue right. In the water, the creature will come and chase you again. Get out and go back in the water through the door. Press the button and go back. Go left. Jump in the water to bait the creature and go back right into the water again. Push the button as you pass by it to close the door behind you. Swim right, dive and swim underneath the structure and then up the chain. You will fall and the creature will get you. This is what is supposed to happen. After the small cutscene, swim up and right. Note that now you can breathe underwater indefinitely. Then down. Open the big door, lever center and lever up. And get the secret with the unfathomable achievement. Go back in the big area underwater. Wait by the door and swim when it opens. If it's opened when you reach it, don't try to go through, it will crush you. Grab the bar, wait for the vents to stop. Swim and grab the other bar. After the vents stop again, swim up through the open door and go right.
here, hide underneath the platform. Rotate the lever. If you can get it as high as I did, it's fine. Otherwise, hide again and rotate some more. Then, go left and dive into the water. Right. Out of the water and get the 11th secret with the clockwork achievement. Go back. Hide again underneath the platform and rotate when you can. Do this until the platform is far right. And then climb on the ladder, jump on the platform and continue right. Jump down through the hole in the water and swim up. Go right. Fall down. And fall down again. Push the button and pull the box's lever, then push the button when the box is in the air. The box will get pushed. Push the box to the left and pull its lever when the box is facing 45 degrees to make it jump over. Push the box into the light and pull the lever. Push the button when the box is in the air to lock the door. Go left into the water and open the door. Swim up and go right. Push the box to the right underneath the button. Pull the box's lever and push the button when in air. Pull the box's lever again, push the button in air and jump right. Get the secret and the room of reflection achievement. Go back down and drag the box to the left. Pull the other box's lever, push the box you just dragged on top of the other one and pull this one's lever as well. This will get you in the water. Swim and open the big door by taking out the two battery type things. Swim up and start walking right. Climb up a ladder and go left to get a box. Drag the box and stop when the guys with the forklift show. Continue when they leave. Go down and drag the lever down until you get the box in the water. Swim to the box and push it a little to the right so it is above the middle platform. Go to the lever again, get the box to fall down and make sure the water level is as low as it can get but with the right door open also. Use the box to get in the water and swim right. Dive in the water and wait for the guys to leave. then fall down. Push the lever up and use the mindless to get the lever back down. Go right and use the mindless to get into the water and swim right. Go down and spam the action button so the button will be pressed as you fall down. Continue right and use the mindless to throw you. Wait a bit and jump down and they will catch you. 
Use them to climb. Go right, down the ladder, and left. Press the elevator button. Go left to get the mindless. And right back to the elevator. Make sure you only get half of them or around half and then press the elevator button. Press the button again and go right when the elevator stops. Go right and climb a rope that is barely visible with the help of the mindless. Left and fall down, left again and use the mindless to reach the secret. The office space achievement will pop. Left and fall down, wait for all the mindless, right, wait for all the mindless at the elevator again, and press the button. Go right, and open the door. Fall down and continue right, and use the mindless to throw you up. Climb and continue right. Push the lever. Drag the cart to climb the ladder and then the lights wire and the pipe. Continue right. Open the door, fold down, open another door and go one level down. Jump on the ladder and climb. Go right and enter the big thing. Somewhere inside, press the action button and drag the analog stick. This will unlock the last achievement, the last one. And now we still have the ending. Go back. Down the ladder. Open the door. And left. Jump in the machine. Move it right. Jump on the ladder and climb down the ladder. And then the pipe. Jump into the water and take out the two battery thingies. Get out of the water, move the lever up and then down and as fast as you can jump back in the water, swim down and grab the bar. Let go when the door is opened 100%. Then go near the blob of bodies and take out three mind control devices. You will then become one with the blob and start to control it. Go left and pull. Continue left. Pull the door. Climb with the mindless's help. Pull down. Grab the box and move right. Use the box to climb. Continue right and fall down. Go left and grab the stick and then right. Orientate the stick up to push the button and continue through the door with the stick following you. Leave the stick on the pressure plate and then climb. Fall down and wait for the guy to open the door and go through it. Fall through the other door, grab the box and go left. Throw the box up two times to open the door. Open the hatch and put the box in the fire. Go back right 
and throw the box over the sprinkles. The box has to remain on fire. Throw the box in the furnace type thing and continue right. Drag the carts and use them to grab onto the machine. Swing left and right to destroy the wall and then push the cart to help you cross. Throw the box up and one guy will pull the lever. Throw the box towards the button and as soon as you throw it, move right through the door. Try to reach the box and you will fall down. Swim down and pull from the right side. And after three times you will be able to escape. Swim up. Get out of the water and continue right. Hit one more time the wall and you will start to roll over. Eventually you will reach the shore. This is the end. A blob of bodies on the shore. Creepy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful and until next time stay frosty and extra spicy.